my god. Okay, okay. Woo, Jimmy, we're live. We're live. Let's play that theme song. Wait, what? If the show that nobody asked for, the only reason that we shower. If these are ovaries, good talk is live right now. You know what's so uncomfortable is that the way I'm playing that is a video of Jamie singing to TikTok. So she was like singing to me on my computer and it makes me so uncomfortable. Well, and we, and Robin was just talking about um, how she, you, everybody's having crazy dreams right now. I've actually talked about this with multiple people. Dreams are crazy. I think there was like somebody wrote an article about it too because anxiety is through the roof or whatever. And Robin just told me that I was in her dream the other night. Not in like a fun way, but it was like a whole thing. Well, anyway, we're not going to get to that because we've got a very big show today. Welcome to the show that nobody asked for. Um, I'm Jamie. <laughs> I'm Robin, and we're already having technical difficulties, so hopefully Jamie stays with us this whole thing. But we have a guest today, which I'm so excited about. Are, are you yeah, already going? Guys, tell us from here. Say hi. What's hi, on? What's that? Tell, tell them to tell us, say hi to us. All the people. Oh, yeah, I don't yeah. know. Am I on? I'm, I'm off. <laughs> Is this thing on? Is this thing on? Um, our friends, our friends, Hello. Melissa, are here. And Julie. Hi, guys. What would we do without you guys? Hi, Emily. Thanks for coming. Um, Once again, I'm dealing with shoddy internet. It's going to be my life during this pandemic time. I'm sorry. I don't know. It's an extender or something. Um, but we do want to say um, the the topic for today is Kegel, Kegels, and you're downstairs and and peeing oneself, and not that I accidentally pee when I sneeze. You have a podcast, Robin. You have a podcast all about this, and you still call it the downstairs. <laughs> it is the downstairs. It is the downstairs, it's not the upstairs. Um, so we today have a special guest. Um, her name is Mary Ellen, and she's from a company called Yarlap. And she is coming in. Let's bring in Mary Ellen to talk to us about the downstairs. Hey. <laughs> hey. The downstairs. Hi, Mary Ellen. How are um, you? So, oh, my God. So good to have you here. We were just talking in the green room a little bit. Tell us about, like, what Yarlap is and about your position at the company. Yeah, so Yarlap is an FDA cleared medical device to treat urinary incontinence, which is bladder leaks. So when you like um, sneeze, cough, run, and you pee yourself, we treat that. And I'm the co-founder with my dad. Okay, so, <laughs> so you started, Jamie's having troubles again. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to you, but you started a company I mean, look at, you're already getting people like talking about how amazing you are. So um, I told my college friends, I was like, I'm going to be on this podcast and we're going to talk about the vagina. And I was like, if you can make it, here's the link. And I think that that's all of them. I love it. I love it. I know. <laughs> so, okay. So, all right. The, for my first question is the Yarlap. Now, when we, when you reached out to us, I did a little bit of research and I have to say, it's a Kegel trainer, and it looks a little bit like a sex toy. Do you hear that a lot? Yes, that's a very quick, frequent question that we get. And no, we're not a sex toy. So uh, there's a difference between us. We're an FDA-cleared medical device to treat urinary incontinence. So we train the pelvic floor muscles when you insert it like a tampon into your vagina. And it differentiates by sex toy because you don't get any sexual stimulation at all with the R-Lab. And sex toys aren't regulated by the FDA, but we at Yarlap are heavily regulated by the FDA because we're a medical device. Now, I need to know from Jamie, the face that you just made, um, was it because you were unhappy that there is no stimulation from putting it in there? Is that it, Jamie? Was that the face? See, the beauty is that, that I have to say, Mary, I think after looking at it, wait, I can't hear her. I think after looking at it, I can hear her. She's, I think what Jamie just said, I think she's going to have to like text me. She's good. She said she could get sexual pleasure out of it is what I thought. Yeah. So the Yarlap, basically everything that you read about with the Kegels and when you orgasm, your pelvic floor muscles actually contract. Mm -hmm. So when you feel in an orgasm, that kind of pulling feeling um, sure. at release, 
that's actually your pelvic floor muscles contracting. And so when you're contracting during orgasm, it's the same muscles that are contracting during a Kegel exercise. And so using muscle memory, if your muscles know how to do something, they know how to do it better and stronger if you train them correctly. And so the Yarlap trains your pelvic floor muscles to contract properly. So how does it do that? So like you're sticking the thing in, it's connected to a little, a little like monitor sort of thing? Yeah. So it kind of, it, if you go to our website, you can see it, but it's got a control unit that you hold in your hand or you can tuck into your pants or whatever. And then there's a tiny little part that looks like an insert to a, a tampon. And that's the part that you put inside your vagina. And the yarlap lap goes in and it sends a very gentle signal into your pelvic floor muscle saying, hey guys, do the exercise. This is how you do it. Basically like training wheels of kegels in your body automatically done for you because chances are you actually don't do them correctly because it's been i think the statistic now i think is over half of women who try to do a kegel can't do them properly they use the wrong muscles they use their rear ends or their lower abs or their thighs and that's not those aren't the muscles that you want and if you're engaging those you're not getting the full benefit of a of a kegel so after i had my first baby i went in for like a post checkup and I was talking about the peeing and, and the OB lady literally had her hand in there and was like, had me do a Kegel. And she told me I was doing it wrong. And then I was just like, I don't know. I was like, I'm just holding things and I don't know how to do it right. And then I don't know that I ever got any advice about how to do it right. Is this way too much information? Do you think? This is way too much information. So it's no. not that bad. No, so that's like the big thing is um, the Oxford test, which is sticking like a finger into your vagina to tell to see if you can clench. And if you can hold on to it, it means you have pretty good control of your pelvic floor muscles. If you don't, it's a pretty key indicator that maybe your pelvic floor muscles are a little bit weaker. And like you just said, it's really hard to get good information about how to do Kegel exercises or pelvic floor exercises in general not just the clenching, but also the relaxation. And so the yard lap kind of just does that for you and just takes the guesswork out. Um, and then just for our listeners, by the way, um, my sister says TMI, Robin. Um, Jamie's very in and out on her connectivity. So Jamie is texting me her questions. So <laughs> I'm listening to you, Mary Ellen, and I'm giving her questions. So Jamie, keep them coming and we're gonna, or, or type them in the side thing. And, and we can put, if you type them on the side comments that could work too, Jamie. Yeah. But however you want to get them to me. But okay, oh, you, said, you said that it's like an auto trainer. That's what I don't understand. Like what's it doing in there? So it's sending a signal into your pelvic floor muscle. So I'm going to paint you like a really weird visual, but hopefully it kind of gets it across. But if you think of your pelvic floor like a hammock, it lies across your pubic bones. Okay. When it's and it holds like your bladder, then your uterus and your visceral organs all in place. But when it sags or gets weakened, it kind of falls and everything shifts and it falls on top of each other. And that can happen for a lot of reasons, especially to women. So childbirth, pregnancy, um, some people say menopause, um, weight, a bunch of things can cause this. And when it happens, you have to make sure that your pelvic floor muscle is toned and that's where these exercises come from. And so then when it goes in, your yarlap lap comes in and it comes right about here. Okay. And what it's doing is it's sending a signal into your pelvic floor muscles, telling them to go up and then back down, up and then back down. And then over time, your pelvic floor muscles go from here to like here, back to where they should be naturally. So what it's doing is it's toning your pelvic floor muscles by basically being training wheels and teaching your pelvic floor muscles to do what you want them to do. So everybody's like, do your kegels or relax your pelvic floor muscles. And you're like, I'm trying my hardest. Yeah, I'm trying right now. Nothing's happening. Exactly. The Yarl lab is basically like, we'll show you how. And that's, that's basically what it's doing. Does it come with that sound effect? I. I wanted it to have that voice just so you had a motivational, but I think that it was going to be too weird to have a voice, especially my voice, coming out of your vagina while you're trying to do this 20 minutes a day. I thought that was just a little too weird. What do you, so you said- It could be Sean's voice, 
<laughs> so Ray Oberman is saying, so it ends up teaching the pelvic floor muscles and you get better over time? Yes. Yes, Ray. You mentioned you're not like getting physical satisfaction. I hate to like really like go too deep into this, but I don't hate it at all. But like, what, what, what are you, what does it feel like when it's happening? Does it feel like a muscle spasm or? No. So it actually is really comfortable. Um, it depends on what you feel in your vagina. Every woman's different. Everybody gets a different sensation within their vagina. But most commonly what we hear is it feels like a firm handshake in your vagina or it feels like <laughs> butterflies. Those are, the, those are the ones that we hear the most often. Does it without your own ability? Yes. So even Did I answer Sue's question? That's Jamie's mom. Yes. Oh, okay. yes. I'll answer. Jamie's mom. Yes. So even with severe muscle atrophy, which is severe weakening of the pelvic floor, so you have no control whatsoever, or you have severe bladder leakage, the Yarlap still is able to treat it because you don't need to, oh, hi, Mo. So you don't need to have like that control because the Yarlap goes in and it does it from the ground up for you. So yeah, you don't, you don't need to have the ability. We got you covered. Jamie would like to know what made you create this? <laughs> So my dad, so it's my dad and I for the co-founders and my dad is a medical device engineer. He has, I believe six or seven medical devices that deal with like muscle stimulation. And we had a family friend who had incontinence after having kids and the device that he has is also available for the national healthcare system in Europe. So France, UK, Germany. And over there, you actually get to have um, a perineal re-education device, like what he has. And they give it to you after you have a baby to help oh. you with pelvic floor muscles. And so my dad was like, they got you covered. They'll give you one. Well, it turns out in the US, we don't. And there was nothing really over the counter that was like what he has designed. Um, and so he decided that he, he needed to change that. And so he basically created the Yara lap from a previous device that's used in the national healthcare systems in Europe. And after years and thousands and thousands of pages of paperwork with the FDA, we came up with the Yara lap. And I was in college and my dad goes, I got this thing. I think it's going to be really good. Will you help me with it? And I said, ah, I don't think so. Incontinence is just for like older women and for like grandmas. And I don't, I don't really know. And he goes, well, that's wrong. Just do a little bit of a Google search. And if you like it, let me know. And I was like, okay, whatever. And so I was searching for it and I realized that runners get it. Moms get it. Um, like young women who were my age at the time, 20 year olds get it. And a lot of the girls that I was friends with would laugh and they would pee themselves. And I thought that was just funny. And turns out that's incontinence. Like that, that is incontinence. So By the way, it's funny till it's not. Yeah, it's funny until it happens to you and then exactly. that's no longer funny. Yeah. And so I was like, oh my gosh, so many women, one in three women, one in three women in the US has this problem but we all associate with it like with an older demographic and that's just not true. And so I was like, Oh, this is so good. This, I would love to do this. I have to do this. And so we kind of came together and created Yara Lab. So it's so not for like pregnant ladies, like older people who maybe are heading in the depends territory could, could come back from that too. Mm -hmm, exactly. So the Yara Lab is able to not only treat um, light to severe. So even if you, pee yourself and you have absolutely no control, we can still build that muscle memory. So we can still treat you, you can still come back. It doesn't matter about the age, as long as you're an adult female, we still got you. And <laughs> even if you're worried or you see your friends having this issue and you're like, I don't want that, you can have that on your own. You can use this to maintain pelvic floor control to prevent an issue like that. Um, Jamie had a very good right. question. Oh wait, you might be back, Jamie. Ask your, ask your back? question. Go ahead. 
I texted it so long ago, Robin. I don't remember oh. what it is. Oh, Ooh, this is a good one. Um, can we use insurance for this, or is that something that maybe could be worked on in the near future for it to be a or part flexible of flexible spending money, flexible spending dollars? Yeah. So your FSA and your HSA, so your flex or your health savings account, we accept those. When it comes oh. to insurance, like Medicaid, Medicare, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, whatever you have, we don't do billing in the office. You have to do that on your own uh, self-claim, and people still do that. But FSA, HSA, bread and butter. Good to know. And, and Melissa so, had a go ahead. question, too. Did I miss Melissa something? asked, where does the name Yarlap come from? And she did. We get that all the time. So, <laughs> so Yar is actually a sailing term for fit, trim, in good shape. And lap is an old English term for your lady parts, like your vagina. So Yar lap is a fit, trim, in good shape vagina. That's amazing. I want one of those always. My I whole know. Life. Everybody should have one. Everybody. That was I mean, going to be my guess. My guess was going to be like yar as in your, and then like lap as in downstairs parts. That was going to be my guess. Yeah, and you Good nailed it. Good job, Robert. I think like this is for all women. I mean, so many women have this problem after childbirth. I, I know some women myself, like my co-host. Um, <laughs> I'm just happen to me. I don't. I don't know if that makes a difference, but it didn't seem but, to happen. Is anybody noticing how freely Jamie feels to be throwing me under the peeing bus? I mean, I don't know, but it feels a lot like that's happening. Oh, no, I just I got you covered. We're good. Uh oh, did we lose Mary Ellen? Say that again, Mary Ellen. We lost her for. I, okay, I said you're good. I got you covered. <laughs> okay, my question is. Is it like you got to do your lap forever? Like you, like you could do it and it'll get better, and then it's gonna your hammock's gonna start sagging again, and then you could do it. Or is it like do you have to do twenty minutes a day? Like what's my bare minimum physicality that I gotta do? And can I do it? You got to do it. Jamie, Jamie, I want to ask you, what activity that's twenty minutes a day do you have time for as a mom? I mean, I guess you can. I just be sitting in the office with the yard lap in? Yeah, we're all the So. We literally designed it so you can use it wherever on the go. Just don't operate heavy machinery. So, like, don't use it if you're driving or, like, in a tractor. I don't know. Um, if you're excavating land. Yeah, you can, like, multitask with it. Um, you can use it lying down, sitting up, walking around, whatever. Um, but you're supposed to use it 20 minutes a few days a week, uh, five days max. And it's, like, any muscle, right? So your PC muscle has to be toned and it's just like your biceps or your abs once you get a good tone you don't have to work it so much but you do have to keep working at it to maintain it maintenance you gotta, yeah you gotta create that strong foundation robin yeah so it's yeah. not like i have to do 20 minutes every day until i die that's not true. <laughs> that's not true it's yeah. like do it 20 minutes three to five days a week for the first few months and then you can do it like twice a month from there on out Here's, here's what I love about this. Here's what I love about this thing. I feel like I could get very creative with this thing for my own purposes. I also feel like, I also know that it does also help with your, um, I don't know the right phrasing, the right wording, your um, sexual, like it helps with, what is it? What do you say? Uh, performance experience? Yeah. It keeps it tight, Jamie. It keeps it tight. <laughs> I don't want to say the wrong thing. No, I mean, it's, like, it's, 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 it's a lesbian scare about that. Help. Yeah, What's no, that? it does because there's a lot of issues with incontinence, and a lot of it is some people get depressed or anxious. Um, some death, sexual dysfunction can occur because of incontinence because you're just so afraid that you're going to leak. And so there are some studies on that. But when it comes to your sexual performance, when you have a better toned pelvic floor um, muscle, you have a better response to the orgasm because your muscle knows what it's doing. It knows to have a strong contraction. And so when you're in the middle of an orgasm, your body is using muscle memory saying, I know what this feels like. I know how to use these muscles. I'm actually really strong in these muscles. We're going to engage them now. And so you have a better response to the orgasm, which is why you read everywhere, Kegels in the bedroom do this, and this is why you need to do Kegels in the bedroom for that. Um, it's because 
those muscles are so important to your orgasm. I love huh. it. This is why every woman needs to get one of these. Every exactly. single one. Everybody should get one. But yeah, no, it's just your pelvic floor is so important to your overall well-being, right? So it's your sex, bladder control, posture. Um, it just basically oh. intertwines with everything. Wow. It's amazing. Posture even. Oh, I could get taller. I can always use that. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's it's crazy how important your pelvic floor is. Um, we were in a peer review journal article because of the weight distribution of your pelvic floor when it gets weakened and it goes out. So um, if you think of it kind of like an arch right here and your pelvic floor is here, when it gets weakened and it sags, it falls and your lower back actually comes in and tries to support that weight. And your back is not is not um, built for that. It's not supposed to take that weight of all those organs. It's not supposed to be the sound, it's not supposed to be the foundation of that your pelvic floor is. And so when that eventually gives way and you get you know, weird unexplained lower back pain, your lower back could give out. And if it does, it goes straight to your knees, which is where sometimes people who have incontinence have unexplained lower back pain or unexpected or unexplained knee pain is because it's, it's trying to get that um, weight distribution under control because your pelvic floor isn't doing what it's supposed to be doing. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. We're learning so much. I know. I'm like, I'm standing on this soapbox and I'm like, your pelvic floor is really important. Everybody get it in shape. But I'm trying to be like nice about it. <laughs> I think everybody needs to get one of these. I mean, it's a great Christmas gift, is it? I don't know. Yeah, Christmas I think gift. so. But I mean, I don't know. Well, I'm, I want to see if anyone has any other questions for Mary Ellen while you maybe give out information of where people can get more information yeah. or purchase uh, a URL app if they're interested. I'm happy to. Yeah, answer. and my brother is um, commenting like crazy too, but I, I don't think he has questions. He's yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Well, Tom, I said hi and thank you for listening. Yeah. They're here. So that is the greatest. That's the greatest comment. <laughs> Mary Ellen, why don't you tell folks where they can um, where they can get more information? Yeah. So if you have questions or you want to learn more, um, you can go onto our website at y a r l a p yarlap dot com. Amazing. Yeah. I love it. <sighs> this was. I mean, I I, obviously, I need to get one. And Jamie, I think you should be the one buying it for me. Is what I think should happen. <laughs> As a gift, uh, you can use your FSA HSA. Yeah, um, remember when I quit my job? I don't have that anymore. <laughs> yeah, Ellen, yeah. Ellen says Mary Ellen is a sexy scientist. I take, um, I'll take that. That's actually my twin in my sorority. Oh, so, uh, <laughs> thanks, Ellen. Oh, nice. Thank you so much for coming, Mary Ellen. Thank you so much for having me. All right, well, take care, and everybody get a get a yard lap. I'm gonna when yeah, I'm, I'm thank gonna you so much, Mary Ellen. Um, that was well, Jimmy, that was fabulous. Well, I learned so much. I, did I didn't think know. I need one. But now I do. I think I need one. I feel like how can I not get one is what I feel like. I mean, Definitely. I mean oh, look, look, my sister now is jumping in here. I need two. <laughs> yeah, you need two, Robin. You should just get two. That's, I mean, that's how much you need it. I mean, it's probably, it's probably true. Um, well, we want to tell everybody to come back on Friday. What do you have to yeah. say, Jamie? Yeah, well, I think my brother had a question in the beginning. I'm not sure because I don't really understand what you wrote there, Jesse. But I think he was asking, where can I watch these live streams? Is there another place I can see these? And yes, you can see them on our YouTube channel. So if you go to If These Ovaries Could Talk on YouTube, you can find, oh, Jesse, you can find, um, <laughs> You can find all of these live streams that we've done. They're there. They're living there in perpetuity. And you They're can share there. these live streams with people as well, should you feel like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know why you would want to, but you could. Um, but thank you, everyone, for coming. This was a blast. And we'll be back on Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern We're Standard Time. And we will have happy hour. We will have cocktails. Um, yeah, I mean, and we're going to be talking about, we've already got some good topics. There's apparently there's a lady who's suing everyone who's gay. So you're going to want to, you're going to want to check back to hear about that. Oh, everybody, everybody. We need to make viewing parties of that. There needs to be like a couple.
a, a, a worldwide cocktail party watch. Of everyone who's gay, who's every, and it's like for everyone who's in the class action lawsuit needs to come to the live stream on Friday with the cocktail. What is the one at? I don't understand, Jesse. It's you go to YouTube if these ovaries could talk. I, I don't, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to let you and your brother talk offline. Thank you, everybody. Um, see you Friday. Um, thanks, eggs. Ovaries, I forgot. What's wrong with you? Because I'm doing a Kegel. Out. <laughs>